so All right. we can talk about that. So okay. good afternoon, bienvenidos a todos. Today we are here with our friends Paulina Tavares and Luke Lucas Landau. Bienvenidos. Gracias. Gracias. Well, I'm excited to have you guys with me today because I know that you guys have a lot of great programs for home buyers. Specifically, you have a new program that came out to help uh, first-time home buyers, correct? Correct. So, Paulina, tell us a little bit about what great opportunities you have right now for home buyers. In this crazy market, we had great opportunities, and I think that's what set us apart from a lot of other institutions is that we have um, our one portfolio program that is working amazing with uh, first-time home buyers. Um, you want to talk about that? Yeah, so there's, you know, a lot of lenders can only sell what the secondary market allows them to sell, which is mainly Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and FHA loans and VA loans. But some banks who really want to help home buyers uh, have their own money set aside to be able to lend, and the guidelines are usually a little bit more lenient, um, and uh, the rates and the products and the process is a little bit uh, more lenient as well. So uh, we have a program where we will go up to 100% financing uh, with no PMI. PMI is a, a big uh, charge today. If you don't put down 20%, you have to pay PMI, and that's on the secondary market. But that's a rule made by the secondary market. So if we're lending our own money, we don't require PMI because we're lending our own money. We feel safe without putting it on there. Not only that, but the interest rate that we offer is about a half a point to 75 basis points lower than normal interest rates out there today. So a 30-year fixed rates are going up, uh, which is making affordability a little bit more difficult. So if we can keep those rates down for our clients, then it allows you to, to uh, have a lower monthly payment monthly. Uh, for one, because you won't have the PMI in there, and two, because the rate will be quite a bit better. So today, rates are somewhere around the high 4% range, 4.875, something like that. And we're able to offer these programs around four and a quarter to 4.125. And these are 30 year fixed rate loans. Uh, we also do not charge uh, our clients for any underwriting, any processing, or any appraisal fees uh, on this particular program. So it saves on closing costs about $1,500 from our uh, all of our competitors out there. Oh, wow, that's really good. Yeah. That's yes. really good because that yes. adds up all those little fees. Yes. They add up. So you're looking at typically, you know, Adding all the closing costs to, together with escrow and everything, you're looking at about you know fifty five hundred to six thousand dollars, depending on the price of the house. Mm -hmm. And so we're able to get that down to forty five hundred or, or five thousand dollars, somewhere around in there. Yeah. Yes. And when you have a first time home buyer, when every every dollar counts. Correct. You know? Closing cost wise, yes. Yes. Um, one thing to remember on this product is a CRA product. Is a consumer a consumer? You're gonna edit this, right? Are you editing this? No, Not anymore. Like... <laughs> <laughs> we're live. Consumer Consumer Reinvestment Act. Consumer which is Reinvestment a, Act. It's it's to make sure it's to make sure that all banks lend money in all communities and that they're not um, creating disparate treatment. So if you take deposits from Leewood, you, you need to lend money all over the state. And we're a bank. We're Sunflower Bank. We are the Bank of Kansas. Uh, and so we care about all of our communities in Kansas. We have Sunflower Banks in almost every community in Kansas. Dodge City, Garden City, Salina, Manhattan, Lawrence, here, all over the place. And so we're very committed to the Kansas community. We're very committed to the state of Kansas. So uh, it allows us to uh, make sure that we're lending in, in good, sound ways, but also helping the community as well. So we do get CRA credit for doing this, which lets the government know that, hey, you guys are doing a great job lending to everyone uh, in the state of Kansas. Uh, we also service all of our mortgage loans after closing. A lot of companies don't do this. And honestly, um, to have your loan sold right after you close, it's, it's not a very good feeling. Um, it, it makes you feel a little bit used and it makes you feel like someone just tried to make a bunch of money on you and then sell your loan to someone else you never heard of. And so for us, we keep all of our loans here if you do your loan with Paulina and you have a question after closing for you know a tax document or something like that, or why your payment might have gone up from taxes or something, it, you know you can always call her or call me, mm -hmm. and we can we can help you through that in English or in Spanish um, throughout the entire process during the loan and then after the loan as well. So become part of a Sunflower Bank family, part of the Guardian Mortgage family, right. 
and uh, it allows us to um, to just have good service throughout after closing. And it's very important. I didn't know the importance of that as far as the client level. It's huge. Why? Because you're going to keep your mortgage for a while. And when it's time to refinance, you know, you're our client. You're a client of the bank. We keep that database. We keep that relationship going. Um, I was looking at Luke's uh, database and finding out, you know, all these people that are customers for life pretty much and the agents also have their relationship with them because we pretty much market all that um the mark the agent the borrower you know it's just to keep everyone in the loop and that's awesome because you know when the questions come up about the bank and the payments a lot of times the agents are the first point of contact from the from the buyers you know yeah. so like man what i do i'm getting these letters <laughs> and so then we're like wait a minute where do we send you to so it's good to know that we can always send them Correct. back to you mm -hmm. right take care of them throughout the process especially when it comes to renewal and the taxes come mm -hmm. through when there's changes in the payment and that can be a tricky situation right they're going to ask the question why did my payment go up well your loan rate's fixed so your your loan payment never changes but the taxes could go up which could change your payment your insurance could go up which could change your payment mm -hmm. yeah that would that would happen um we also allow you to, so you asked a good question as you always get those calls afterwards and you know, someone's responsible taking the time out of their busy day to set up their payment. We do that at closing. So if you want to set up your auto payment at closing to come out on the first, second, third, whatever to the 15th of the month, we can just do that at closing and it's set up and it's done. Mm -hmm. So it makes it a lot more convenient, a lot easier on a lot of clients. So so far, you guys have two points in your favor. Okay. You guys give a lot of discounts on front, save people money before they even close. And then you guys are there to follow up throughout the process. Correct. That's awesome. Uh, there mm -hmm. is a great opportunity for us uh, to see when the rates are low, you know, starting to come down or low. And recently we had a refinancing uh, campaign and, you know, these customers are very thankful. Like, hey, you know, your rate is at this. I think you should go ahead and refinance and we have your information. It just takes some updating to do. And that takes away the searching from, you know, as a homeowner, you're like, oh, well, I wonder if it's a time to refinance and you start kind of doing the, the research. We reach out to you and we kind of make the process a lot easier if you're our customer. And it helps reduce the confusion because I know after the closing, buyers tend to get a lot of spam mail as well. Correct. So they don't know if it's their new bank or if it's even something that's legit that they're getting in the mail. So that's great to know that there's that. Trust. They can trust to call you guys back to know that if it comes from you guys, it's you guys, not somebody else. Correct. Yeah. So let's go back up. You talk about you're part of Sunflower Bank, mm -hmm. but your mortgage division is called Guardian Mortgage. Tell Correct. Me a so, bit about that. yeah, that's a good question. So, Sunflower Bank has been around for 125 years. Uh, we are we are the Bank of Kansas. Us and Capital Federal, I think, have the same. We bought Guardian Mortgage with a different bank when we did a, a merger. And so we acquired this bank that also had Guardian Mortgage attached to it. And Guardian Mortgage had been around since 1965 as a true mortgage banker, which mortgage bankers just kind of do things more efficiently. And they kind of think like a mortgage instead of thinking like a bank. You go to Wells Fargo and get a mortgage, it's painful. Bank of America to get a mortgage, it's painful. So we're kind of the best of both worlds where we're a bank, which allows us to offer great products, but we act and operate like a mortgage bank. So that's what's good. And the reason why we kept this, you know, in, in Kansas and in our areas where there's Sunflower Banks, we kind of still go by Sunflower Bank. We, we all have Sunflower Bank emails uh, and business cards. Mm -hmm. But in Texas, this brand is very big. So we kept the branding basically to just allow everybody to know that, you know, we're Guardian Mortgage, a division of Sunflower Bank. Uh, a similar company that's kind of like us is um, Prime Lending, a division of Plains Capital Bank. The difference is we care about Kansas City as a bank and Prime Lending's company, parent company, uh, don't have any relationship with anything in Kansas. They don't want to be in our market. So it allows us to offer better products from a portfolio perspective. Uh, but it's similar in, in that way where it's, it's a mortgage company owned by a bank. And it's great to know because this day and age when sellers are looking at 20 offers and as agents, we kind of help our sellers through the process of which offers to to accept which ones look strong it's good to have a bank that we know that's been around that we can trust you know a lot of these people get those pre-approvals online from banks right. that can mm -hmm. be questionable we don't even know what the process is for the underwriting was and the deals that's when they end up falling apart so you want to make sure that when you present your offer as a buyer 
you have a solid bank behind you that's going to make sure that your deal goes through. That's Correct. a very good point, especially right now because it's extremely competitive. If there's 12 offers on the table, the first thing they're going to say is, where's the Quicken Loans approval letter? Get it out of here. Where's the Bank of America quick uh, approval letter? Get it out of here. Let's work with the lenders we know are going to get it done. We have a very good reputation in town. We know a lot of the agents around town. Sometimes if I know the agent, I'll even call them and say, hey, this buyer is really, really solid. I want you to consider taking our offer. And they may not just take it just because it's us on the other side, but they may say, here's the highest offer. Let's go back to this particular offer who has this lender that we trust. And let's see if they'd be willing to match this. And then we'd feel more comfortable going with them. So it does help buyers win, uh, win, win their homes in this market by the lender that you choose. And you need every help you can get right now. <laughs> every, yes. Every, every bit. Help, you know, every especially bit. Because it, when it comes down to there's multiple loans, they all have the same offer, they all have the same terms, it's going to come down to which bank can come through. Yeah. Correct. And the advantage for us is being able to guide you through the process in English or in Spanish, whichever you prefer. So the last thing we want is for this extremely difficult process not difficult but stressful full of anxiety we don't want this process to be more stressful by a language barrier so um we are going to be able to speak spanish all the way through the whole process and be able to explain and make you feel comfortable about every step of the way um the last thing i would say is you know we we will fund a lot of different types of citizenships so um permanent residents non-permanent resident aliens and uh daca we'll do daca on every one of our loan products so that's kind of a new development that we've had lately so uh we're, we're really excited about being able to offer our loan products to to those with uh, with DACA. A ver, Lucas, demuéstrales que hablas español. Hablo un poquito de español, sí. Hablo bastante Habla para para hablo bastante para para hablar sobre préstamos, sí. Sí. Okay. No. A ver, que cuéntales sí, no sé. dónde aprendiste a hablar español. Aprendí español en Argentina. Viví en Argentina por nueve meses cuando estudié estudiaba en la universidad. So, viví en Buenos Aires. Excelente. ¿Cuál fue tu comida favorita de Argentina? Empanadas, empanadas y asada, yeah. sí. Y vino, vino, vino. Vino. Sí. Malbec. Toma mate. Sí, sí me toma gusta mate. tomar mate. Uh -huh. so, pero... sí, tiene un sentido calma, pero con energía. You know? Pero café es like, uh, you know. <laughs> um, ¿Y tú de dónde eres, Yo soy de Ecuador. Oh. Ya, ajá, vivo acá aparte. Me ya voy para los... 22 años. Se pasó mucho, muy rápido el tiempo. Um, soy de Ecuador. Uh -huh. Pero atienden a todas las personas de todo Latinoamérica. A todo, todo Latinoamérica. Ayer tuve un cliente que eh, me, me estuvimos platicando, él es de Guatemala, y cuando se me dice de qué parte de México es, entonces yo le digo, no, yo no soy mexicana. Me dice, ah, no, porque por eso mexicana. Como su abre, como su presente, le digo, yo soy de donde usted quiere que sea. <risa> yo soy de todo Latinoamérica, yo soy camaleón. Sí, yo sé que tienes todo el bolo que sí, ¿verdad? Mexicana, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? Claro, claro. No. <risa> yeah. So, you were telling me on the phone before we, last week when we were talking that there's a program specifically for Johnson County buyers. Did we the, that's that the, the, the CRA, CRA program. It's, for, CRA it's for Johnson program. County buyers. It's for Lawrence buyers, Wichita buyers, mm -hmm. anywhere where we have a bank, a brick and mortar bank, we'll, we'll do that product. So Garden City, Dodge City, um, Manhattan, Lawrence, Salina, anywhere that we have a brick and mortar bank. So, but around here, it's basically Johnson County, Johnson County. and um, um, Douglas County. So in the Lawrence area as well. So do you guys service those other cities too or just? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes. We, we do loans everywhere. And we also everywhere. are licensed in other state because remember this footprint is very large. Yeah. So, we'll so we can do loans 50 California, states. 50 states. 46 states 48. actually. 40, yeah. Yeah, no, 48. 40, yeah, 48 now. I removed there for a second. We, uh, we, yeah, um, 40, 48 states. We don't do New York and we don't do Alaska. Other than that, we'll, we, we lend everywhere. So, And uh, this, port, this portfolio product is, is unique to our footprint states, which Arizona qualifies, New Mexico qualifies, Colorado, Texas. So a lot of, I mean, you know, a lot, we can help a lot of people with this. Yes. Awesome. Anything else you want to share with our viewers? Um, we are here to make good things happen for other people. I think that's our goal. Uh, just a little bit of history on our team. Uh, Luke and I have been, we have been working with 12 years, 13 mm -hmm. years, knowing yeah, each together. other as a lender and, he was my lender when I used to be a realtor and and we started working together again. So we know the system and he, he's very knowledgeable and we are here to help you. Yeah. 
let us get a quote for you. You know, if you've yes. already got something set up with someone else, you've talked to someone, it does not hurt to get a second opinion. It does not hurt to just come to us first because we've got the best deal anyway. But uh, come to us for a second opinion. We can let you know what the value is here. The fact that we can speak su idioma durante el proceso. Y, you know, we can, we can uh, you know, we can, we just, we just have a lot to offer and a lot of value. So um, come get a second opinion if you already have one. And one of the things that I think Paulina is great too, because I've met Paulina a while back ago, when I first got my, I've known her before I got my license. We've known each other about maybe six years. Six, seven years. Mm -hmm. And when I first got my license, I called Paulina and I told her, hey, Paulina, I'm a little bit lost about how, you know, I passed my test, but I really don't know how long. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> so Paulina spent like an hour with me on the phone, breaking it down for me. It still sounded like a foreign language, you know, for like <laughs> FHA, conventional, and this and that. And I was like, okay, I don't know, but <laughs> I figured it out. But I really appreciate that you had that patience to explain it to me in detail yes. because nobody else has explained it to me like that. And it's important that you want to make sure that you have someone who knows how to explain it to you the right way so that you understand. So that when you come to the table at the day of closing, mm -hmm. you're not like, oh, that's I don't know I what that was. Yeah. Yeah. It's very important for us too, you know, and then something I enjoy uh, through the process because I was a homeowner when, you know, before I became a lender and it's, it's, it's stressful that you look at all these papers and you're signing all these documents and, and you're just hoping that nothing is going to go wrong. So I want to make sure that you understand what you're getting yourself into, that you are able to, uh, qualify for not only qualify for the house, but be able to afford it right after, especially with us because we service your loan. So we want to make sure that you are you know, treat it fairly that you are given the opportunity and most importantly, just knowledge, just knowing. Okay, I'm gonna ask you both one last question just to get some advice. If there's a buyer who's skeptical, who's on the fence on whether they wanna buy now or wait because of the way the market is, no. what do you say to them? Don't wait, don't wait. Uh, we have situations right now that borrowers, because of the market, not, I don't think that's intentional. We have one that, it just can't win an offer. And unfortunately, the rates are going higher and the prices of the house are going higher. And it keeps people sometimes out of qualifying, you know, and then they're kicked out of the group now all of a sudden. So the longer you wait, yeah, the, the more expensive and, you know, stressful it's gonna be. So if you're ready, just in, jump in the market. Um, it's like getting married, right? Either you're ready or you're not ready. Mm -hmm. it's gonna last forever and that's something or it's a responsibility there that you have to maintain for a while what are your thoughts Steve? um i mean i'm buying three rental properties this month uh oh, wow. and i they're more expensive than i ever expected them to be but i don't see this slowing down i especially don't see this slowing down in the midwest mm -hmm. people are moving to the midwest the cost of living is cheaper in the midwest we were actually undervalued for a long time. Kansas mm -hmm. City home prices were undervalued. So we kind of caught up and then we had the appreciation the rest of the country had. So it seems like a big jump, but it's really a normal, it's really been a normal jump. Um, the other thing I would say is that the, the demographics alone of the populations that are getting out of school and getting jobs, people have more savings today. They have better credit today than they've ever had before. Um, and just the amount of home starts that are happening of people that are here, even if rates were much higher you're still going to have people buying homes just because the millennials are the biggest generation we've ever had the average age of a millennial is now like mid 30s or maybe early 30s and they start everything a little bit later in life the previous generations would start their home you know get married have kids start their home you know at the age of like 26 27 28. That's we're, we're at that we're at that yeah. point right now with the millennials and then here's the other thing is that after the millennials are done being you know done having homes and being and owning homes the generation behind the millennial generation is even bigger than they are. Oh, wow. So homes aren't home aren't they're not going anywhere. Mm -mm. Remember, if you rent, you pay a hundred percent interest. Correct. That's so there you go. Better. Yeah. So those that are waiting for the market to crash, it won't. It's not going to crash. It's not going I, to I don't. Crash. You know, and here's the very important differentiation. Not here. If you're in San Francisco. You might have a problem, <laughs> but not in the Midwest. It, the, the crash that we had in the past, because a lot of people are wanting to compare 2005, 2007 with what they think is going to happen now completely different you know back in the day there was the subprime loans that you know people were doing things that they weren't supposed to loans were being approved when they weren't supposed to you know it's a completely different story this time if you wait you're gonna 
just way to pay more for a property and more for a house. So there you go. There you go. So where can people call you if they want to schedule an appointment or apply? Yes. Uh, my The fastest, easiest way to reach me is through my phone number, 913-800-0103, or you can enter my website, paulinahomeloans.com. Call Paulina. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You. You're so cool. <laughs>